Chris Sell is out here starting some drama with Dub. Now, apparently, Chris Sell had went to his TikTok, and on his TikTok, he was trying to address Dub baby mom, stating that he would be a good man for her because Dub does not know how to be a man. So, guys, here's the video, and let's take a I heard Dub don't know how to treat a woman. He got with a girl that was down for him. You feel me? And now he dating this girl, whatever the case may be. They just came to my attention. And let me tell you, who, if you watch this, dub, baby mama, love me. You feel me? Like, I'll take care of you, baby. I'll take care of you and we'll walk. You feel me? So just let me know. Give me the word. DM me. Uh, But you don't need him. You don't need no man with fake hairlines. You just don't. You don't need that. You don't need that in your life. You feel me? So just let me know what you want, baby girl. Um... Yeah, yeah, just let me know, baby. Mm. Excuse me. Peace out. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm just eating my food. But yeah, man, that shit crazy. Like, she was just down for you. Like, I, do I got to teach niggas how to treat a woman? Like, do I got to teach niggas how to treat a woman? Duh. Mm -mm. Niggas get money and switch up on they first. Niggas get a little money and switch up on the girl that, that was down for you. I'm speaking facts. Don't hate the messenger on my soul. You feel me? All right, guys. So leave a comment down below. And let me know how you feel about the situation with Chris Sell trying to get with Dove's baby mom. And now we're going to go and jump into this next scene. Now, apparently, Corey Pridget was on iHeartRadio. And in the broadcast, he was asked about the 10K that he had sent to Danny for, I guess, a relationship. Now, it comes to find out that Corey has stated that he had gave her 10K to open up the shop of peach gobbler now he had more things to say also about the situation with um with carmen like always he can never keep carmen's name out her mouth but he had things to say about that as well so guys here's the video and let's take a look into the personal life we talked about music let's get a little personal for a second mm, okay. we see there's a special lady in your life she's in your bio we see the pda <laughs> like we love to see it big bang danny how is that going uh, it's actually going amazing, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's something new for me. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people don't understand it. Like, it, they just so used to seeing what they've seen over the years. Yeah. But uh, being with Danny, it, it's like I'm, I'm experiencing something new. Like, a, a actually woman who's successful already, mm -hmm. who has built her own career, and she's she's actually helping me with a lot of stuff. Just yeah. not with the with, with our personal life, but she's showing me how to become more successful as a man. Mm -hmm. So you know, just having that partner there, it just it's dope. What are you learning from her? Well, I'm learning more how to treat a woman. I'll mm -hmm. tell you that. Especially okay. how to treat a woman who's self-made. A mm -hmm. woman that don't need a man. Yeah. So that hit different when you get with a woman who don't need you. 100%. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you gotta so act right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so that, that have been on my tail. But yeah. I, I feel like that's what I've been chasing the whole time. Mm -hmm. It's just that a lot of people are just so stuck on my past. They, gonna, they won't pay attention to my present, who mm -hmm. I am. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, being with Danny is like, it's a journey so far. I mean, it only been, it, it haven't been that long, so I can only imagine how it's going to be going forward. Yeah. I do want to know, did you really send a $10,000 to shoot your shot? <laughs> <laughs> did you drop the stacks to shoot your uh, shot? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I want to keep it real with you. I like to leave that in the air just to mess with my, my, my supporters. No, oh, okay. 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 <laughs> but that's a great way to shoot your shot, if yeah. I can say so myself. You think, you think so? 10 k Yeah. Toward a business? Oh, come on. But yeah, I so think I you put do it, well. We put, it in, we put it inside the um, the, 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 the peach cobbler factory. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's just like, you know, you got to like, show people how you should support them right it ain't just all about like i want to be with you or i just want you because you find what you got like yeah. i'm gonna show you i support you too so mm -hmm. yeah no it's a good way yeah. it's a good start how did you make it official well i just took my time and i was just there you know support her as she go through her business and mm -hmm. stuff like that man i guess she just saw my character okay i'm the type of person i tell people once you get around me mm -hmm. but you you will Ignore what the people are saying because you see totally different. from it's a lot of noise what, what out there. The, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I guess when she just saw who I was, it was just like, it just started happening naturally. And then people just kept forcing us together. Mm -hmm. So I was like, hey, you might what? <laughs> <laughs> you, you might what? Open that door for me. No. Oh. And yeah, she she gave me a chance. I love it. Yeah. I love to see it. I see you grinning over there. I love to see it. You're talking about a self-made woman. Like, you got to come correct and whatnot. I do have a question for you. Yeah. We talk about it all the time. But I want to get your perspective.
do you believe in 50 50 relationships i mean of course okay of course i mean because it's like that's what a team is like mm -hmm. i don't understand why would a woman want a man to provide everything for her anyway you yeah. know what i'm saying it's just like when you got two that's coming in you go bigger you go farther yeah and I, i'm real big on just like uh having that mindset where the partners are our business partners also because i tell people like what's your goal when you get mm -hmm. in a relationship yeah like what are you trying to build together? Mm -hmm. Why you gotta just try to live on one person? Right. So if you got your goals, I have my goals, and we both put our goals together. And on top of that, I support what you have that's separate from me, and you support what I have. Mm -hmm. That gonna take us further. Yeah. So that's just my personal opinion. But mm -hmm. you know, I'm, I'm still the type of guy where like I handle majority of anything if I got to though. Yeah. I did that already. <laughs> so. <laughs> you say nothing new. Yeah, this it ain't, ain't nothing new. new. Yeah, I did that already. <laughs> yeah. But I respect switching gears just a little bit. We talked about how you were able possibly allegedly, you know, sending 10K somewhere. Yeah. But we had an ex that came back and was like, I guess, upset about that situation. Going yeah. on social media saying, you know, financial obligations tied to something in Miami hasn't been, you know, yeah. finalized. So what do you have to say about that? I laughed at it. It was funny. Uh -huh. You know, it, it, I just feel like when people don't know what's going on in your real life, they take mm -hmm. stuff and they just judge it. Like, even with that situation, it was like... I was in the penthouse in Miami and I wanted to leave. I wanted to go to my Alabama to actually help my people back at home. Yeah. And so when I left, like I paid the rent, I left, right? And they hit, they, they, so they, I guess they tried to keep me in the lease. Ah, uh, okay. And yo, when I got the paper, I was even shocked. I got the paper, they wrapped it up for 5000 40000 I'm like, what Ooh. the hell? Like, I'm black. Who's going to pay that? I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to be real with you. Yeah. Like, you going to make me pay $40,000 just because I'm going to leave? Yeah, that's crazy. Like, in Miami, and I, like, moving to Miami, it's so different from vacation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And when I went down, I was there for five months, and I, I don't like it. Mm. I don't like staring there. Like, I can, I love to go vacation, but me staring in Miami, like, was like a no, because it just, it's expensive for no reason, and, yeah. it's, and it's a lot of, it's fake. It's mm -hmm. like, it's not realistic. Mm -hmm. Everybody down there is like, pretending to be something they're not, to, to hold this image up. Yeah. And like me, I actually, I actually live this life for real. Mm -hmm. I'm successful for real. I'm mm -hmm. not here faking it. Yeah. So it was like, I just couldn't relate to it. So I just got up and left. But other than that, um, that situation was just, when she brought that up, I mean, I wasn't tripping. I mean, yeah. and, then, and then just to keep it just broad, it's like hurt people hurt people. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. And and um, in that situation, I was hurt also because I had the right to be hurt mm -hmm. because the social media still don't know the honest truth behind with everything that went on. Mm-hmm. One person throwing a rock behind their hand, and then me just looking crazy because I'm over here expressing my feelings. What's really going on? Mm -hmm. And so I just, you know, women go side with women regardless, and I just I accept it. I mean, right now it's like I'm in a space now where I'm moving forward. Like I even like look back at a lot of the action that I've caused, mm -hmm. and it's like you know I'm not proud of a lot of the way I, a lot of the ways I went about the stuff I went about, but I'm I was a hurt man. I'm human. Yeah. yeah. You feel me? And then like I'm being framed as something I'm not. Mm -hmm. So this is my character. This is everything I worked for over the years. So of course I'm expressing my feelings, but it's like they don't care. <laughs> so, it's brutal out there. Yeah, mm -hmm. they don't care. So now it's like I got I got a new woman and I'm I'm happy. I'm moving on, and yeah. I just wish the other side the best. Also, so mm -hmm. now I'm just focusing on just pouring pouring ways and just moving forward without the negativity. Mm -hmm. you know? What's one lie about the situation, in your opinion, that you want to clear up? When you say what? It's always I mean, a lot. Okay. Feel <laughs> like, free, you know. I would just one. Well, I would no, say I'll take multiple. Well, for sure, for sure. Uh, one lie that I did not like for sure is me putting a gun in the mouth. Mm. The, the abusive, the abusive side. Yeah. That 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 lie there was was a lie that could damage my career for sure. Mm -hmm. And like, and like I say, I just keep it broad. Like that team over there, I used to work with that team, mm -hmm. so I know how they operate. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like, like they can't forget. Like I worked with y'all for six years. Mm. I know how y'all put things together and paint a picture to the image to, to mm -hmm. the public, so therefore they can look at something. So I just didn't like that. I ain't like that, and it was kind of disappointing to me, like the fact that I got kids. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. why would you paint that picture out about me, knowing it's not true, and knowing that I got boys that look up to me? Right. So I really didn't like that, and um, I mean, yeah, that was like one of the main ones. Mm -hmm. All the other stuff, it was a lot of lies, but you know, I just feel like. When when people gotta make you look bad with a lie because they don't have nothing to really look you, they don't have nothing to really make you look bad with. Right. They just go with anything. So mm -hmm. I understand that. Okay. All right, guys. So leave a comment down below and let me know how you feel about Corey giving Danny 10k to open up her peach gobbler's um factory and also let me know what y'all feel again about what he's saying about Carmen allegedly lying about this whole um domestic violence um situation. And I'll see y'all next time with a brand new video. Bye.